Hello everyone, today we will discuss about the square roots. So, first of all, what do you mean by a square root? So, to discuss this one, let us consider a number x. So, we denote we denote the square root square root of x as root x. So I consider the number x and the square root of x is root x. So clearly, so root of 4 is equal to 2, root of 9 is equal to 3, root of 16 is equal to 4, root of 25 is equal to 5 and etc. So these are the square roots of a number uh, 4, 9, 16 and 25. Now uh, we will discuss the bigger numbers uh, how to find the square root. So we have two methods to discuss uh, to find the square roots of the bigger numbers. So the first method is uh, prime factorization method. We have two methods. Two methods to find uh, square roots. So first one is a prime factorization method. And the second one is a long division method. So these two methods we will apply for the bigger numbers to find the square roots. So we will go for the first method of prime factorization method with two examples. Now we are going to discuss about the prime factorization method. So first example, I will consider one example. So uh, finding a, a square root of a square root of a 324. So I consider a three digit number that is 324. So to find the square root of 324, first we should resolve the given number into prime factors. So by taking the LCM, look here, I am taking the LCM. 324, I am taking the LCM. 2162 times is 324. 2 81 times is uh, 162. 327 times is 81. 39 times is uh, 27. 33 3 times is 1. And uh, 3 1 times is 3. So the factors, uh, now I uh, find the prime factors of 324. Now I will express here. 324 factors are 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. After finding the factors, we should make them into pairs of equal factors. Here we have 2 and 2, so I am making the pair of equal factors. Here also, one more pair we have 3 and 3. And one more pair, 3 and 3. So, after finding the square, after finding the equal pairs, we should consider the square root now. Square root of 324. Here, out of equal pairs, we should consider only one number. Here also, out of these two, we should consider only one number. And from the third pair, we should consider only one number. So if I multiply all these numbers, we will get the square root of 324. So first I will multiply. 2, 3, 6, 6, 3, 18. So the square root of 324 is 18. So this is the process to find the square root for 324. This is a this method is known as prime factorization method. Now we will go for the second example. Now I will consider one more example. Uh, find the square root of 1764. This is a four digit number. How to find the square root? I will say now. First, same. We have to find the prime factors of this number. So how? Look here. 2, 882 times is nothing but the above number. 2, 441 times is nothing but 882 and uh, 3, uh, 4, uh, 3, 7, 3, 147 times is 441, again, 3, 49 times uh, 147, 7, 7 times and 7, 1 times. So these are the prime factors of this uh, given number 1764. So I will write the factors here. 1, 7, 6, 4 factors are 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 7 into 7. These are the factors of the given number. So, I am making the pair of equal factors. Same factors. So, 2 into 2 is one factor. 
equal pair of factors and 3 into 3 is a equal pair of factors and 7 into 7 is a equal pair of factors. So to find the square root of the given number, so we should consider only one number from the pair. So here we have 2 and here I am considering 1, 3 and here also I am considering 1, 7. So if I multiply all these numbers, you will get the square root of the given number. So therefore, the square root of the given number 1764 is 2, 3, just 6, 6, 7, the 42. So 42 is the square root for the given number. Now we are going to discuss about the second method that is long division method. So to, to discuss this method, I will consider one example. Find the square root of 784. So first, I will consider the number 784. After considering that number, from the units place, we should group them into periods. So we should consider uh, two numbers. So this is nothing but one pair. That means first period. Two numbers will become the one pair of a period. Next, uh, the remaining number, this is the second period. So after grouping them into the digits, two digits, uh, so, so I will start dividing. Here if you see the first period, we have seven. Uh, so think of the larger number whose square is equal to or just less than the first period. So, here, if I consider 2, 2 times is nothing but 4, 3, 3 times is nothing but 9. So, if I consider 2, 2 times is nothing but 4 and 3, 3 times is nothing but 9. So, we should consider 2, 2 times 4, less than this number 7. So, 2, 2 times is nothing but 4 and here we should uh, subtract the number. So, 7 minus 4 is nothing but 3 and after that we should consider the second period that is 84 to down. So, 84. So, it will become one together, one number that is 384. So, to get the next divisor, the new divisor is obtained by taking two times the quotient. Here, the quotient is two. Two times of the quotient is nothing but four. And annexing the digit, annexing with its uh, same digit. That means, look here. Four, I consider. Next, uh, suppose if I take two here, I should multiply with two only here. So I am annexing the same digit over here. So that is uh, 2 2 is 4 and 2 4 times is nothing but 84. So which is uh, more far away from this 384. So I will consider one more number 4. Uh, 5 times I will take and I will multiply with the same number. 5 5 times is nothing but 25. 5 4 times is 20, 22. So it is also a little bit far away from the uh, 384. So I will consider one more number 4 8. So I am writing. I am multiplying with 8. So 8 8 times is nothing but 64. 8 4 times is 32. 32 plus 6 is 38. So we got here 48 8 times is nothing but 384. So 48 I am annexing with 8. So I got the answer as 384. So after subtracting I will get remainder as 0. Then here the quotient whatever we are getting this is the square root of the given number. Therefore that is uh, under root of 784 is equal to 28. So this is the long division method to find the square root of the given number. Now let us consider the second example that is uh, find the square root of uh, 5329 which is a 4 digit number. So first I will consider the number 5329. So the first process is uh, first we should group them into pairs from the units place. So here one pair I obtained and here also we got one more pair. Total we have two periods now. Two pairs we have that here we should consider as two periods. So here uh, think of the larger number whose uh, square is uh, equal or just less than the first period. So here first period we have 53. So we should uh, consider less than that 53. Square of 53 less than that number. So that is uh, here we know that 4, 4 times is 16 and 5, 5 times is 25 and 7, 7 times is 49 and 8, 8 times is 64. So we should consider less than this first period. So we have less than this first period is 7, 7 times that is 49. So 7, 7 times we should consider that is nothing but 49. So we should subtract the first period now. Borrowing 13, 13 minus 9 is 4. And uh, after that, uh, we should consider the second period to the next of 4, that is uh, 29. So, to get the new divisor, uh, we uh, by taking uh, two times of the divisor, two times of the quotient and uh, annexing with the same digit. Suppose, uh, here we have quotient four, 7, so 7 two times is nothing but 14, 
and uh, suppose uh, 14 if I take any number beside 14 suppose I will take 2 so we should uh, annex with 2 only that means we should multiply with 2 only so 2 2 times is nothing but 4 2 4 times is 8 and 2 1 time is 2 so we got 284 which is far away from the given number so we will consider one more number 142 one four here I am writing beside 14 3 so we should annex with 3 only so we should multiply with 3 only so 3 3 times is nothing but 9 3 4 times is 12 and 3 1 time is 3 and 1 is nothing but 429 so now we got 429 that is 14 I am annexing with 3 and here 3 so we got 429 so remainder will be 0 so now we got the square root for the given number so the square root for the given number 5329 is yeah, this will become the square root for the given number that is 73. So this is a process to find the square root for the 4 digit number.